beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed I want you to bless him. Lord, you are my everything. Bless him everywhere, inside and around. Please make sure you lift up your voice and just bless him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We bless your holy name. Zebakapasha Si prendo capriada balada boats unto you shall the gathering of your people be Si mena kosha prianda balada bres capariada balada ba Zembo kosopra to shapalada bash go ahead and bless him in tongues bless him in the spirit Mam proske prandisha lekete frada balada bash. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue at the fire builds up and powers. Prepare your hearts to receive. Sige balaka proske imbredisha balaka tia na baka se brega de balada ba. Jeka ba 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 ba. Mam proske proska balika preski balada baka brega de balada da. Ziba da 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 ba la da 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 ba kasa prega de ba la da da. Shaba la da 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 ba kada ba la da da. Make sure you are praying everywhere. Le pa ka ba la da ba la da ba sa ta ba da. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. 
let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. It's a very simple song. of your glory fall let the weight of your glory fall this is a cry from a generation that is desperate for revival let it cover all let it cover the north let it cover the south sing let the weight of your glory fall lord we want to see revival break out in cities and nations let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Sing it as a desperate one. ago as a desperate communication of the spirit it was a desire to see the fire of God it was a desire to see authentic apostolic revival break out in cities it's a very very prophetic song these are deep songs these are the kinds of songs the Bible calls the songs of Moses songs that stem out of a bowel of hunger they are not songs to make money. They are not just songs that you communicate to while away time. It's a song that you sing when you truly have passion for the things of God. Can we sing this song one more time with revelation? Let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory fall. In Mount Zion, the side of the north. Let it go. Beginnings of us who Desperate communication of our desire for true revival. Yahweh, Yahweh, That's all. Just a very simple song. Christ say, Yahweh. Yeah. 
hand of God. Yahweh. We cry for spirit power. Yahweh. We lean not upon the arm of flesh, we pray. Yahweh. That the veil that has shrouded us from entering in the entrance of the spirit. Yahweh, tear the veil. Yahweh. Let the veil be rent into two and let us see deeper. Yahweh. Yahweh. Holy is the one who reigns. Holy is the one who reigns. Worthy is the one who sits up fire. Mabala Basila Mabresha Lakare. Sheba Kabradila Manakata. Come on, just press and let's worship for a while. There is a spirit of worship. Adonai, you're the Lamb of God. You are worthy, worthy of my praise. Is our travail tonight. Let your kingdom break in our heart. Adonai. 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 Go ahead and begin to sing in the spirit. 
sing in the spirit sing in tongues sheka bakata balada bakana na 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 sheka ya na 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 se pariya makama ya na se balade na 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 se kapariya na 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 we sing to you in your song to god God I tell you the portals of heaven are open mightily over this place Mande kataba ladaba The hunger of a man can draw the presence of God and when he shows up you are changed As we bask in your glory oh God let us be changed We are the uncompromising remnant that will not bow we will travel until we see the glory of god arise upon this nation and upon the continent of africa we travel on behalf of nigeria the first born of god in africa we will not sell our pet right but we will contend to represent authentic apostolic christianity foundations We strive to see your kingdom come. This is our desire, Lord. Beyond everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to just pray one prayer and say, Lord, let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your glory be revealed. Let your kingdom come. And then the eyes of the blind will be open when his kingdom comes. And then once again we will hear the authentic sound of the shofar of the spirit. It will rise above every noise of religion and every noise of tradition and falsehood. Hallelujah. Jesus, we seek only one thing, not the building of a ministry, not the fame of men of God. We seek only one thing, that we become envoys of your kingdom. Men who are furnished by the fires of the Spirit. Men of understanding and power. Men of light. We give you praise. Tonight I pray that the bread of the Spirit be broken. We contend for the hallowed bread of the Spirit. Show us deep things, O oh God. Cause our eyes to be opened. Reveal your glory in strange dimensions. Open us up, O oh God. Let the seals be broken. Let the scroll be open. And let our eyes see. Show us what the Father saw. We contend for the ancient part. 
We refuse to be deceived. Let the light of God take us to the holy hill of the one who called us. And may we become mighty men. May we become mighty men. God bless you. You're welcome. God bless you. It was a great time of worship. Please be seated. Hallelujah. There is an end to this pursuit. We are not chasing after shadows. We are not um, we are not just trying to do the things that we are doing because we are alive and we have to continue the traditions of religion. I need you to know that God is so grateful when he finds a people who are interested in in him not just what he can give not the prosperity not marriage men who are addicted to the values of the kingdom who love him above and beyond what this life can give hallelujah we are the hope of this world you must believe this. Don't ever think you are little. For in the days to come, even the, the smallest spark of light will be of benefit to men. Gross darkness will come upon this earth. It's already happening. But the Bible says upon you, it says you will arise and you will shine. Not only will you shine the light, you will become the light. Hallelujah. The secret of spiritual growth is progressive revelation. There is nothing else that can make a man grow. The Bible says that when God made man in the Garden of Eden, the life that they had was supposed to be sustained by the continuous eating of the trees of the garden. They were not eating it for hunger. They were eating it because it had the capacity it was called the tree of life it had the, the capacity to give life and that tree is the accurate revelation of the word of God so as we receive the word of God there is an unveiling of the reality of this life this Zoe life that we talk about Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm excited because many of you may not realize that every great revival started with a movement that was concealed. People did not know that this was how far God would go until the fire became so much that no devil could stop and he began to move from city to city. Hallelujah. There's an army rising up. There's an army. There's an army rising up. Break every chain. 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 Can you just sing that part? There's an army rising up. 
There's an army that is rising up. There's an army we're rising up to break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The prophet began to speak. Malachi, the prophet, started speaking and he said, there will be a sign that will characterize the coming of Jesus. It says, shortly before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come again. Hallelujah. Did you know that the Bible never tells us anything about Elijah's birth, origin? It just tells us this, this wicked system, this she goddess called Jezebel, who was married to the king Jezebel was a witch she was not a wife that's why she reappears in Revelation again in the book of Revelation Jezebel reemerges again hallelujah the personality Jezebel was an adumbration of a system hallelujah and the Bible says during her time the prophets of God suffered so much the prophets of Baal were reigning and they locked up and killed the prophets of God. Suddenly, a strange man without origin just imagine. The Bible says, and Elijah the Tishbite. From where he came, we don't know. We don't know who, where he was taught the things that he knew. The Bible says he was a representative of a spirit. Elijah represented the sword of God. And the Bible says when he showed up, he showed up for one assignment. To conquer that she goddess. And afterwards he left. Who is this strange man? Because we see him reimagine again. Jezebel is still in revelation. Elijah is still in revelation. Where did he come from? Did he just appear and Elijah the Tishbite? Where was he trained? Who taught him that the eye of witchcraft could not find? And Elijah the Tishbite rose up as a cry. The prophets of God were suffering. Only about 400 of them were being kept in disguise by a man called Obediah. No prophet could lift up his head and prophesy the counsel of God. And the Bible says in response to their cry, one great prophet, Elijah the Tishbite. A single man who terrorized the system of Jezebel and brought her to her knees. And the Bible says, before the day of the Lord, Elijah will come back again. But he will not come back as a person he will come back as an apostolic generation are you getting my point and is in the similitude of what was adumbrated in the old testament nobody understood nobody knew about the training he was it was a strange manifestation the bible says elijah the tishbite and this is the making of elijah's the spirit the authentic spirit of prophecy that will arise this is how his kingdom will come. Hallelujah. And Elijah the Tishbite suddenly showed up and he began to cause havoc to this godless system. I need you to know that you are a representative of this spirit of Elijah this authentic apostolic and prophetic spirit and the first assignment of elijah is to destroy the altars are you getting my point the first assignment of elijah is not to call the names and phone numbers of people the first assignment of elijah is to come in with a dimension of god that has not been seen that will bring the powers that be to their knees this is why i raised this song to break every chain a reemergence of the Elijah spirit 
Alléluia. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight I have I've just been praying for the teachings that we're going to be bringing that not only will we get puffed up with rema and knowledge hallelujah but that these teachings will sustain an ability to cause radical transformation in our lives we have said this is a season of light and brothers and sisters let me tell you there is a level of light that you carry you become a threat to the kingdom of darkness this is what we are training we are training you to become a light a light you will be so bright the powers of darkness cannot ignore our job is to expose the works of darkness and to bring people to accurate spiritual understanding hallelujah thank you jesus first timothy 4 verse 1 let's rush He won't stop till we look just like him. He won't stop. He won't stop till we look just like him. God is birthing something strange in these days. God is revealing something new in our midst he won't stop he won't stop until we look just like him he won't stop he won't stop first timothy 4 verse 1 now the spirit expressly says that in the latter times some will depart from the faith giving heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons stop the bible says in the latter time there are certain people who for some reason will depart from the faith and will begin to give heed to what deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons very interesting it didn't say doctrines that were taught by demons doctrines that were manufactured from the pit of hell and brought taught accurately by demons verse 2 speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with hot iron verse 3 forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from food which God has created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. The last verse was for. For every creature of God is good and nothing is to be refused if it's received with thanksgiving. Let's just stop there. Hallelujah. We're examining three things tonight. Tonight, we're going to be studying the scripture. Hallelujah. Everybody say, I receive light. When, when our eyes are open, we will be able to mature and comprehend the things of the spirit deeper. Let me tell you something. Listen. Do you know what scares demons and principalities and powers? It's not the statue of a man or woman. Are you getting my point? It's not your English. It's not your degree hallelujah but the degree of light the degree of light when you see the spiritual structure of a believer you can know his level in the spirit by the degree of light are you following me now so at the mount of transfiguration jesus revealed to us how his spirit man was are you getting me it was light so bright that the people could not comprehend it and every time we come before his presence by revelation we keep contending to attain unto that dimension of light and the degree to which we conform to that light 
is the degree to which we rise to maturity and that's a product of revelation the difference between revelation and information is that revelation transforms information just gives you awareness if it is revelation it must change you it was designed to change you if you truly understand it hallelujah praise the lord the bible says in the latter days verse one again please that men will give room to deceiving spirits who are these spirits where did they come from what is their ministry please pay attention brothers and sisters we are in a day and age that if you lack spiritual intelligence you will die are you following me now we need it as a matter of urgency in every generation there is always a contention of light and darkness there are people who just go around as social beings but there are certain people who understand spiritual things and are anointed to communicate the counsel of God to make sure that the banner of the kingdom is lifted throughout that generation and we happen to be that generation so it's important for everybody to pay attention there's a lot of error going on in the body of Christ listen please hallelujah and the error that is going on in the body of Christ is so deep it calls for immediate response hallelujah if we do not respond to the tragedy that is happening in the body of Christ and we allow this Jezebel to strangle away the prophets of God if Elijah's do not arise a time will come there will be no prophets who will speak the counsel of God are you following me now there's a lot going on in the body of Christ the continent of Africa and especially our dear country Nigeria Nigeria is the firstborn of Africa we are the model to the the continent of Africa in terms of spirituality hallelujah and it's important that we preserve the things of the spirit there are three errors in the body of Christ that we trust God to address and correct tonight hallelujah It's called apostasy. You know what apostasy is? Apostasy is a departure from the accurate truth of God's word. A departure. I preached a message, I think it was last year or year before last, the apostate church, you can get it and listen. A departure from, not, listen, listen, please. I, I don't mean the departure from a doctrine. I mean a departure from the known patterns of God. Everything about the building of God's kingdom is not left for the discretion of man. Are you following me now? There is a pattern. God in his nature will not allow man to build his kingdom his own way. It has always been the character of God to create a pattern for man to access him. So apostasy is when by the activity of wicked spirits, men begin to deviate from the accurate pattern of God. And the Bible says this will happen in the latter times that some will depart from the faith. What faith? Christianity? No. 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 God never called us Christians. What is the faith? The pattern. There is a pattern that our fathers followed. They knew something that made them walk with God. They knew something that made the, the kingdom of darkness quake before them. And there is a gradual deviation. Please listen to me. The church in Nigeria is deviating fast. And there's got to be an, an intervention of Elijah. Because the few prophets of God 
who are left in the country are facing a lot. Jezebel is, is prospering on our pulpits, in our churches, across different places. And the prophets of God, the true prophetic and apostolic voices are being quieted until Elijah rises and that there be an open contention between light and darkness to return the body of Christ back to pattern. Otherwise, we are going to lose it and we will miss it, not just as a continent, not just as a nation, but as a people. Hallelujah. Say amen. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 13, verse 25. Matthew 13. Jesus began to explain to us the tragedy that will befall the church. Matthew 13. Let's start from verse 23. Or 24. Let's, let's make it 24. And another parable he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like a man who sowed good seed. That man, listen, that man is God and his purposes and counsel. So how did he start? He started with good seed. Is that true? He sowed good seed. He created a pattern. But something happened. 25. The first four words. One, two, go. But while men. This is how the spirit of the Antichrist began to enter the church. It began to cause men to sleep. The Bible says that a time came when the eyes of Eli started getting dim. And remember the Bible says the eye is the light of the body. That means if your eye is closed, there is no more light. No more illumination. There is no more access to divine things. And the Bible says that the eye of Eli started getting very dim. And that continued until it got to a point where men slept. Hallelujah. While men slept. When they began to intercourse with Babylon. When they began to respond to the promptings of this antichrist system. When they began to do ministry by doctrines and patterns and methods that are not consistent with the way of God. The Bible says they started giving heed to deceiving spirits. Are you following me please? And they started embracing the doctrines of demons. And men slept. And then the enemy came and did what? So tears. This is what is happening to the Nigerian church. There is a mixing of that which is authentic with that which is counterfeit. And all of them are being mixed in our churches, in our parishes, in our assemblies. And right now there is so much confusion. It will take the accurate eye of the eagle that is brought forth by the spirit of Elijah to divide between bones and marrow and show the church that no matter how this looks this is not of God hallelujah because the bible tells us something verse 26 it says but when the grain had sprouted and produced a crop then the tears also did what that means when they sowed it, it was there as a tendency. But it had not yet manifested. Are you getting my point now? A lot of people started ministry hearing the voice of God. But they did not stay in the spirit for the Holy Ghost to keep walking. Walking on them and pruning out anything that does not become like Christ. Eventually, as the ministry started expanding, as the membership started expanding, they noticed a strange thing happening in the assemblies. That there were also tears that were growing. Verse 27. It says, so the servants of the owner came and said, Sir, did you not sow good seed? In other words, who gave these pastors this message? Where did this rema come from? Where did this doctrine, these revelations that we have built ministries, we have held conventions and meetings with teachings that have no bearing with the patterns of the kingdom? 
the bible says they ask a question did you not sow good seed what happened on the way how then does it have tears 28 this is what made a lot of men of god think that what they are doing is right because in the wisdom of god and for the sake of we the elect of god he said no the, see he said the enemy has done this and the servant said to him do you want us to go and gather them that means should we start pruning he said ah in the midst of these tears there are genuine people they are not strong enough to stand the heat of separation so let them grow verse 28 29 now he says but he said no lest while you gather up the tears you will also hurt the wheat are you getting my point now and so god allowed many churches and many ministries to grow in spite of their wrong doctrines money was still coming are you getting my point membership was still coming and because of that a lot of people thought it was an endorsement that they were doing the right things but right now the spirit of elijah is suddenly showing up because the 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 wheat has become matured enough for the separation to begin to take place and the bible says 30 now let both grow together so no problem let the church grow even with the error no problem i will have a way by my wisdom to manage it but a day will come the separation will happen are you getting my point now there are so many people that have stood upon our pulpits and said a lot of things that have god has no hand in it at all there are many conventions in this country that god has no business with what is going on are you getting me they have organized god out of church programs they have gone for ministers conferences and imbibed doctrines of demons by men and women who have no altar at all hallelujah and the bible says let them both grow so they came back applied these things and it seemed to be producing results but right now it has gotten to a point where it's destroying the remnant of the house of god and except the spirit of elijah arises and addresses it the casualty will be too much it says until the harvest and at the time of the harvest i will say unto the reapers this is a strategy first gather together what this is why we are beginning to attack these things because the season of the harvest is here the bible says you guys are farmers speaking to the nation of israel he said there is a way you can look at the atmosphere and you will know that the harvest is near and bind them in bundles to burn them but gather the wheat into my barn so it started with good seed the man of god started as a genuinely anointed person the ministry started as an authentic ministry but eventually while men began to sleep the bible says a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and it says poverty is not just lack deprivation of all sorts whether spiritual material and otherwise will come upon you suddenly like an arm bandit so this man began to sleep hallelujah and it was in that sleep you see this is listen how many of you have read the story of samson and delilah samson was a type of the church delilah was a wicked spirit are you getting my point now notice that samson was called to be a judge over israel and the bible says savior shall arise everything in the bible is prophetic it's an adumbration of something an adumbration means a foreshadow are you getting me a prophetic preplay of something that would happen samson was a man who was strong and he terrorized the philistines and then the bible notice every time men who symbolize the government of god appeared it was women that threw them down not women they were physical entities but this woman you know why woman because women have the capacity to give birth and reproduce their kind again this is why the bible calls this babylon this harlot in revelation 17 it says she's a woman that sits upon a beast that has seven horns 
seven heads and ten horns are you learning something tonight a terrible tragedy happening in the body of Christ and listen when Delilah came to Samson she studied his weakness are you getting my point she carefully studied it she did not come with a sword i want to show you the mystery of men sleeping and the bible said she came and she donated her lap free of charge for him correct the first time you see the nature of the glory of god is that the glory of god does not depart suddenly when the glory of God in the vision that was shown Ezekiel, when it was leaving the temple, it left slowly. But adventure, the people would realize and repent. Hallelujah. The first time it happened, notice what is a woman looking for, trying to know the source of a man's strength. She didn't say, marry me. She didn't say, sleep with me. She didn't say, give me money. Are you following me now? She kept saying, Samson, tell me the mystery behind your strength. All she was concerned about was his anointing. Because it was with that anointing he would conquer the spirit of the Antichrist. Are you getting me? She wanted to kill the source of his strength. And she found out that there was a relationship between his eyes, his hair, and his strength. That was why when she captured him, the first thing that happened was his hair. The second thing that happened was his eyes. I need you to know that all these women you see in the Bible, they were not normal. They were envoys of demonic entities because they did certain things that did not make sense. For instance, why will Herodias ask her daughter for dancing well? She said, make sure you tell the king that I want the head of John the Baptist. What do you do with head? Are you getting my point now? There are many things that happen in Bible that if you don't read with the spirit of revelation, this is the error that many people have carried. They have just read it theologically and they have bought for doctrines that are not accurate. But the spirit of Elijah comes dividing the word of God accurately. Hallelujah. All through scripture, we'll do a quick drive if it's possible. As we, as we continue. And let me show you that disguising through people and stories has been the same battle. The battle of light and darkness. Are you getting my point now? For instance, the Bible tells us that before the coming of the Lord again, there will be a repetition of the days of Noah. Did you read that in your Bible? What happened in the days of Noah? Because you see, when Satan fell, when Satan fell, there are so many things in my head now. Let, let's just continue wherever we stop. Do you know what Satan told the angels that made them to comply? Don't you think Satan would have told them something that was really captivating for them to leave their estate and to come down to partner with him? Are you getting my point now? because of satan's access to the presence of god he had knowledge of mysteries and the bible tells us that this man called satan or then the son of the morning rebelled he had a he had a political ambition all this ambition didn't start from the politicians there is a spirit and he he made this manifesto clear in isaiah it in 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 in, 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 in um uh what now Isaiah 14 now. I will do this. I want to arise above the stars of God. I want to be like the most high. That was his manifesto. But he deceived all of these people. And when he was casted down, he was casted together with a lot of other angels. Hallelujah. And then when Adam came, I told you again that the garden of Eden is not in the earth realm. Are you getting me that's why they cannot find it the garden of eden is still intact you go to the book of revelation you see the garden of eden still there with the tree of life nobody has taken anything that garden was withdrawn are you getting me it was a supernatural sphere 
the reason is look at the things that cover the garden a cherub and a flaming sword can a cherub and a flaming sword just cover something that is just three-dimensional hallelujah and man was driven out of that garden but there was a prophecy and this it was that prophecy that started this great battle are you getting me the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent and satan knows that every time jesus speaks he already has a strategy are you getting me please follow this when one of the errors that i want to correct i hope we'll be able to establish it is how many of you have heard of that thing called familiar spirits have you heard that statement i will show you the origin of the activity of what we call familiar spirits familiar spirits are not just out to monitor your life they are out to monitor the strategy of the spirit for every season help us lord help us lord help us lord where do we start from okay are you getting my story now and then when adam and eve when adam knew his wife and she gave birth to cain listen please satan thought that cain was going to be the person that god will use because they he knew that god would need a man are you getting me so satan entered cain are you getting my point now see i'm talking of the activity please let's go to first timothy 4 verse 1 again the, i want to show you the ministry of these deceiving spirits can you see where it started from lucifer deceived the angels are you getting my point now and they came down when man fell deceived eve satan always changes the patterns of god because every time god when god designed family please listen and 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 ladies you have to listen this is a very powerful message when god designed family i hope you know that god made man the head of that family is that true that means any correspondence through god according to his structure should go to the man notice how satan changed it satan went to the woman are you getting me and everywhere you see the manifestation of his spirit the woman there that figure tries to usurp it on the man jezebel are you seeing now herodias and all of these kinds of people This is what the Bible calls the devices of the enemy. Stratomai, the Greek word. His methodology. It may have changed and metamorphosed through seasons. But the pattern is the same. That means when you sustain the eye of prophecy, you can detect him at once. Are you learning something, please? So Cain is born and Satan makes a bargain with Cain. And Cain begins to manifest another spirit. And then the Bible says how that Abel shows up. And Satan suspecting that God may use Abel. Began to move Cain to kill Abel. Are you seeing why Cain? Why will Cain kill his brother? See, it's time for you to begin to study the word. Not just to get sermons. But for spiritual knowledge. Ask questions. Why will Cain just kill the, his brother? What for? Are you getting my point now? When Cain killed his brother, in a passage of time, the Bible says Cain started building a city. The Bible never told us that Cain was an architect. What made him to start lusting after building a city? It was the spirit of the Antichrist. Are you seeing? Because God wanted to build a city and name it after his son so the spirit of the antichrist through cain built a city and named it after enoch his son and that was where atrocity started from are you getting my point now and then it got to the time of noah god suffered long with them when it got to the time of noah listen to me listen to me noah was a very strange man he was not just an old bald headed man noah walked with god are you getting me noah had a manuscript that he used to build the ark the ark was not just built carelessly of gopher wood and so on and so forth it was a prophetic message 
are you getting my point now noah had secrets that he knew that made him the head of the spiritual activity of that generation he talked with god he communicated with god he understood the mystery of the flood and that was the reason why listen please listen listen when they came out, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, there were eight people again. Satan started looking for somebody else to enter. Are you getting my point? So Satan entered Ham. Are you getting my point? And the Bible says he saw his father's nakedness. He did not just see his father's nakedness. It's a coded word. He saw into the secret of what Noah was supposed to preserve. Why will a man curse his son for just seeing his nakedness and say you will be a servant of servants? Is that cost not too much? just for seeing a man's nakedness what of children that take care of their parents in the hospital and have to bath them and do other things it was beyond just seeing a physical nakedness it was opening something spiritual that he was not prepared for he was it was every time men shifted from god's patterns they suffered this was why he caused Cain. i mean harm and the cause that was given to Ham, if you read your Bible very well, was that he was going to serve his brothers. Is that true? Now, Satan found expression through Ham. Go to Genesis 11. Don't you, I mean, you don't need to open it. But go to Genesis 11. What happened? Suddenly, another wizard who was the son of Cush, who was from the lineage of Ham. Are you seeing now? A man called Nimrod. Nimrod. Strange man just appeared from nowhere a man who commanded such power he was a lord are you getting my point now how did nimrod gain so much influence and the bible says nimrod was a hunter we never saw one animal that nimrod hunted what was he hunting I will show you in the book of revelation that he was hunting for souls because satan suddenly realized that destroying men is not the way so he says let's adopt them and use them rather than killing them are you are you getting my mystery tonight the bible says it has been given unto us to know the mysteries of the kingdom there are things you understand that the devil will run away from you because he knows that light has brought everything that is darkness to bear are you getting my point now the problem with we preachers is that we just cut a lot of stories and tell people things that when they join the puzzles together it doesn't make sense listen listen i think i was talking to um the the, the music director and, and the worship team chairman they came over to my place and i told them that i've been criticized for a lot of things one of it is this faith thing I believe in faith but i've said this thing again and again years ago that faith doesn't have to be on something you don't understand are you getting my point the true concept of faith is not just built on shadows that cannot be understood i said it last week no pilot sits on a plane and says passengers I trust God that will arrive safely. I've never learned how to fly this plane, but you guys just sit back, sit back and 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 and, and enjoy. There's Jehovah Jireh, there's Jehovah Sikenu, there's our banner and all of that. And then the people sit down and say, Hallelujah, let's just be confessing. We will arrive. We will arrive. Plane corporate. We are now at 3,000 feet. Nobody does that. Are you getting my point now? So faith is not a mystery. It has been turned to look like anything in the kingdom you just understand just you don't understand just accept by faith have you had teachings like that god said it i may not understand it i don't care i want i don't want to understand it all i know is that satan is the bad guy jesus is the bad guy we are for jesus let's win him this is what americans are are shipping into nigeria and we are laughing and receiving it and holding massive conventions and misleading people Whereas the Bible says, do not be unaware of the stratomai. Satan is not an idiot. He has a, a strategy. This guy stayed close to the presence of God. Are you learning something tonight? So you see it, Nimrod Kush. He said, go to let us build a city. Build a city again. The same city that Cain tried to build 
and then the judgment of noah cancelled everything now he says let us build a city and let us make a name for ourselves listen when you study bible history please listen i want to show you the origin of occultism and witchcraft are you following me now don't say it does not concern you the word is making you mature believers are you getting my point now do you know the origin of this thing we call occultism and witchcraft nimrod kush according to bible history are you was the son of kush who married a woman called samiramai are you getting me and because listen please this is very very important Samira Mai was a witch these were people that were possessed they were incarnates of hell are you getting my point envoys that wanted to continue the agenda of God Samira Mai killed Kush her husband are you getting me and Satan came and interpolated this thing Satan came and made Nimrod to believe that in this new move and in this kingdom he was going to make him Lord he was going to be great and the price for that is that he will aberrate the normal progression of of human beings and then Nimrod married his mother are you getting my point now so Nimrod married are you seeing how Satan was twatting the the do I call it the genetic code of human beings Nimrod married his mother. Can you imagine? Now, the son, I don't know what what they are going to call the son now. Huh? His mother is still his grandmother. As ugly as it is, listen, this was the mystery of what began to happen. To Nimrod. Nimrod was a hunter of souls. His job was to exert so much influence that he would bring people to himself because in Revelation when he began to tell us about this mystery Babylon and all the commodities she does business with it called the souls of men. Is that true? Is that true? There's no time. You see, God, this time thing I wish like I feel like busy seeing this watch. Praise God. <laughs> You just sing praise and worship and it's 10 o'clock <laughs> praise god kai this time is limited bear with us honestly these are not the kinds of things that you don't just come and share a message and it's boiling in my spirit because i want us to get it praise the lord are you understanding my story all through scripture when you trace you will see that this spirit looks for women in every generation that will represent its operation and look for men that will compromise are you getting me that was where witchcraft and so on and so forth started and then all these things called divination and necromancers all of these things happened when Saul was king there's no time but I hope you read your Bible very well you remember that remember when Saul was king Saul dealt with diviners and necromancers is that true he frustrated them so much according to scripture there was only one woman that was left one sorcerer one necromancer and the Bible says a time came when Saul slept and he deviated all right it didn't use that exact word but I'm just using it when Saul deviated from the things of God he went to go and consult her is it in your Bible and when she met him he he, he concealed himself and she said ah don't disturb me Saul, is, Saul has made life bad for us. No business in this city again. And he said, no problem. I vow I will not tell Saul. And he said, whose spirit should I invoke? I'm going to show you how men of God operate what you call the prophetic. That they invoke the spirit of the dead. Correct? It's happening in many churches. Somebody dies and they invoke the spirit of that dead person. I want to show you how they use necromancy. And when they do that, they invoke that. And the Bible says she invoked in her vision. She was seeing an old man coming. And Saul, and Saul told her, I said, who do you, do you see him? Tell me about his appearance. And Saul from and Samuel now seemingly from the vision told her the man that is standing with you is Saul. And she turned, she said, ah, ah. Are you not Saul? He said, ah, sorry, it's true. I'm Saul. But 
call me the spirit of Samuel. You think that was Samuel? He looked like Samuel. Talked like Samuel. Where did these spirits come from? I want to show you. See, it didn't start with Africa. So don't let westernization tell you these things are unnecessary. They have been there in scripture. And if we don't gain knowledge of this truth, we will die like men. men. Hallelujah. Help us, Lord. Diviners and different people. Let me tell you something that happened. See, most of these entities that you call, how many of you have heard of demons being disembodied spirits? Have you heard that word? Disembodied spirits. What does that mean? That means that there are spirits that do not have a body to find expression. Is that true? That means they are consistently under frustration. Jesus himself taught us that when that spirit leaves a man, it becomes restless because they need material medium to communicate. There is a law in the earth realm that if you do not have a body, you cannot function here. Are you getting my point? Let me tell you how this demon started. I hope we have time. Can I talk to you? See, the Bible says, listen, demons are not the, uh, they are not the only wicked entities in the satanic kingdom demons are just a class of wicked spirits there are others for instance principalities they are not demons are you getting me i have come to the end of myself take over jehovah i have touched the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself listen i hope you believe what i'm telling you listen how many of you have seen certain people maybe those who do a lot of occultic things when they leave their body they make sure they close the room so that nobody comes to push their body you know why because they must return the same way they left if you shift their body they are not dead but the spirits cannot return to the body again are you understanding what i'm saying There are many spiritual entities like that in the spirit realm. Please listen to me. I want to tell you some things that will bless you. We said this is a year of light. This is solid meat. Light that keeps you in command. Dominion will happen naturally. You don't claim it. Light brings you into it. Are you getting my point? We are, we are demystifying this deity called Satan. Once and for all. So that you will know that the church will truly be a victorious church. Listen. Satan led these demon spirits. Are you getting, I mean angels now. Are you getting my point? Now this was what, because it is within the character of angels to translate themselves. Is that true? That means they can change state. There are different kinds of angels. Maybe when we deal with angels, we talk, there is a northern army, there are different, there are messenger angels, there are cherubs, there are seraphs, there are different kinds of angels. Now, Satan led a campaign and told these guys, together with, I've, I've, I said it the last time, Apollyon, Leviathan, have you heard of all these spirits? They were real spirits, together. Satan didn't just do alone. It was supposed to be that he would spearhead the rebellion. And if it worked, it would be chop by chop. So all the demons that helped him, are you getting my point now? <laughs> when you read the book of Psalms and see the things that the psalmist began to speak, you will see that the spirit of revelation was upon him. Hallelujah. Are you getting blessed? Can we continue? All right. Please make sure you are listening. This is not... Let me tell you something with revelation. If you get too used to it, the devil can use it and kill you. Are you getting my point? 
he won't kill you just by oppressing you he will make you so puffed up revelation that should deliver you is not delivering you but anybody who wants to talk to you you will begin to break these scriptures and say let me give you a rundown of how everything started and then it's not help this is what is happening so we must open up ourselves and please listen i'm serious and contend for change this is not to equip you to now run to your fellowship or your church and say for the next four months i have a message and this is what people do and then start running and say ah i must do this i must do this there are angels there's apollyon have you heard of him and they say wow from whence cometh this kind we have not seen it in this fashion the goal of revelation is not entertainment brothers and sisters is to equip you with light that dispels every darkness hallelujah now listen these angels translated themselves are you getting my point in the days of noah and they started having intercourse with women physical women that means you know that the child they will give birth to will not be pure human that's the origin of giants are you seeing that that's why the children that they had six fingers six to superhuman abilities can i surprise you that breed is still in the earth today this is what scientists saw that they called x-men what is x former what was the revelation behind their producing these films you were just watching and eating popcorn in cinema and nodding whereas this is a mystery they know a war is coming all of these scientific films keep telling you a war is coming and that battle is between mankind and another race this was the whole subject of lord of the rings and they had to consult other kingdoms and bring their kings together and it was a human uh, one little boy called frodo that carried the ring a symbol of authority all the other kingdoms backed him up these things are spiritual messages these scientists through through zodiac and and astrology and all kinds of divination they can peep into spiritual things it's not that they know the future are you getting me how do i put it now help me look at me how many of you know which country is ahead of nigeria time wise what what is uk how can you say uk us, let's let's just assume please listen we, are, we don't have time let's assume australia how many of you know that when australia is saying 18th we are still in 17th so that ability to peep ahead that's what happens in the realm of the spirit because of the regulation of times and seasons are you getting my point it, this is what is adumbrated in geography that it is possible for one region to begin to access certain things before the other one it happens in the spirit too and this is the principle of divination help us so God. take me to the place the place you are that secret place take us Lord that's where I want to be take me to the place the place you are the secret place that's where I want to be let's rush error number one i touched it in the realities of heaven and hell but i just feel like touching it again because the message didn't strike the chord the way i want so i want to touch on the issue again messages from hell divine realms that's number one error that needs to be listen to me i don't know how many women have shaved their hair sold their cover shoes and did a lot of things because listen this is a very serious message right now certain people claim they went to heaven or went to hell listen i explain all these planes to you and you will see sense in what i'm saying now and they brought the core message in the body of christ now is not the bible again is who came with what from where 
Are you getting my point? These are the deceiving spirits and the doctrines of demons. Remember, the Bible says, if God did not cut the time, even we, the elect, can be deceived. What kind of great deception can make people to see a lie and take it as true? Are you getting my point? It must be a great deception. So, what is it? The Bible says, or the people, the story. Somebody just comes back. Oh, I went to hell. And then you print CDs, you print books. Now, there are a few people who will trust their experiences. Very few. As a matter of fact, they were the initial people. People like, like um, what's her name? Mary Baxter and so on and so forth. All these many things that they do now. Those people, when they came back, they even gave the CDs free. Because of how much they wanted to be dissociated with this world. Huh? But right now, what we have is nonsense. And there are many church pastors in an attempt to show piety and response to spiritual things. This is the result of sleep. They invite all these people, these, these people and they come back. Uh, they come to pulpit and cry. Ah, I went to hell. I saw your mother. I thought your mother died. She gave me a message. It's her name, not Jane. You say, yes, my mother's name is Jane. I saw Jane. I saw Jane. She was crying in hell and she could talk. Crying. Have you, have you seen a house catching fire? Have you seen the people inside? listen please this is not criticism please i'm just addressing something this is the spirit of elijah are you get what i'm saying a lot of people came with revelations those of you inside outside if you are hearing me shout praise the lord listen these revelations are destroying churches right now destroying families are you getting my point people came ah you went to hell why did you go to hell your skirts didn't reach here why did you go to hell okay um this pastor you were supposed to drop five naira what where is the five naira that's where you are going somebody went to hell seemingly and brought back the list of the names of almost every man of god alive right now that they are sure candidates of hell this is somebody that got born again. He was not up to three weeks. And he seemingly went to hell. I will show you the mystery of what is happening. I wish we have time tonight. I would have shown you something powerful. It's the strategy of the devil. The people are innocent. Are you getting my point? Don't be angry at the people. They do not even know that they themselves are under deception. Paul says, I was caught up to the third heaven. That means there are other heavens. There is the astral realm. There are a lot of other realms. There are galaxies. All of these galaxies and planets, I hope you know some of them have inhabitants. This is the mystery of aliens. This is the mystery of aliens. There is a lot of story we don't know in the earth. They just gave birth to you in the middle of history is what they taught you from social studies to what again social science history government and then you read political science or whatever it is and you believe you know the world no there is a lot more there is a lot more hallelujah there is a lot more there is a lot in this earth realm that we have there are portals in this realm. There are many people you see in the earth realm that are not pure human beings. They are moving like you. They talk. You've eaten with some of them in the restaurant. They are not pure breeds. These are agents of darkness preparing for the revival that is coming. I read an article as far back as 19... I have the documentary as a matter of fact about people who went underground. Is that true? They went underground. And they saw a place designed by aliens that can see 20,000 people. And there is an altar in the middle. When you stand in that altar and talk, they will hear you everywhere. No mic. Verified scientifically. Don't you know there is a world under the earth? Philippians chapter 2. That every knee is not just talking about hell alone.
what have they not told us brothers and sisters that is responsible i will show you how this applies so that you will see how your family got into it your innocent father from the village was just moving around nothing missing nothing broken he entered into what he didn't understand look at what a lot of believers are suffering it today and one of the error one of the error that i wanted to talk about is the negligence of spiritual laws many of us have listen listen and i don't say this to criticize there is an exaggeration of what we call the grace message i've said this thing again and again please don't be offended i'm just telling you the truth in love there is a jurisdiction to which when the grace message steps out it will be misleading there are people right now that they almost don't read the old testament you open they say what are you doing with the law i have a question what is law what really is law what is the cause of the law that christ redeemed us from is it ten commandments is it other mosaic laws or ten commandments plus them is it spiritual laws a lot of people speak and say ah oh, all of this law is gone there's nothing law nothing again but you believe in the law of sowing and reaping and you teach give and it will be given and a lot of people say even god cannot do anything so which part of the law has been abolished we'll talk about that in another teaching we have a lot of series this is a year of light we trust god to open our eyes not to go and start criticizing people but to be the light a reference the devil is in trouble this year there are things i will explain to you you will never be afraid of death again there are things i will explain to you you will know that even this mystery thing called deliverance you will understand who are these people that follow people quietly to church and come and sit down and later you say in the name of jesus and all of these kinds of things we will explain it when you understand this i'm telling you you will just start laughing you won't even pray let me tell you there are two ways to bind the devil one is prayer the other is revelation when authentic light enters you you grow out of some things at once deliverance is going on right now it's just that many people their concept of deliverance is ah you fall down say, i want to go i want to no no it's not it doesn't necessarily mean you have to do those things light is what drives away darkness permanently you see that's why if if i deliver dosing for instance I lay hands on her and she rose 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 and stands up listen and there is no light do you know why certain deliverances are so easy it's not because the man is powerful the demons are mocking the man he has no spiritual intelligence they just stroll out and allow him to go and he feels wow at once as soon as the person goes out they use anger or something and enter back together with the seven that they have gathered this is why you find out that there are many churches and men of god struggling with deliverance again because the whole service from morning till night is deliverance there is a balance he sent forth his word and his word he led them and delivered them but my only trouble is what people call word is not what god is calling word because their word is not healing their word is not delivering that means it's not the word look at me ella is a fair lady if i tell you ella is coming to see you expect a fair lady tying something in her head with with a ribbon or what is that thing you see that are you getting me if i suddenly decide to come am i ella if i tell you my name is ella this is how many people's revelation i'm sending the word it will do this right now it's not doing it and the bible says if it is the word some things should happen so if it's not happening it's not the word it may be scripture the word listen the word is not just this are you getting me because until the apostles came there was no manuscript but the people understood the word so what did they call their word what did they call their word of god 
He said, ye are clean through the words that I've spoken to you. That word can clean you. That's what he's doing now. So divine revelations. Let's just look at one scripture. Luke 16. Let's settle this issue once and for all. Please. Can we look at just one scripture? We may not be able to touch the... Honestly, there are three issues I thought we'd be able to talk about. Okay. We are there. There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple, royalty, and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day. 20. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus. Listen. Every time Jesus mentioned name, it was not a parable necessarily. It was a real experience. You understand? In Jesus' parables, he described men by what they did, not their names. Which was laid at his gate. Are you seeing the contrast now? It says, full of what? Source. Verse 21. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs, so on and so forth. 24. Okay, no, 23. I saw something I'm looking for there. Ah, we've gone far. Can we go to 22? Let's start from there. And it came to pass that who died? That's Lazarus, right? Lazarus died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. That's another issue there. Hallelujah. And the rich man also died and was buried. So, two of them died. They've now left the earth. Let's see the drama that happened. 23. And in hell, so a definite place, hell, is that true? He lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off. All right? That's Abraham's bosom, and I'll tell you why. And Lazarus, hey, I had a revelation, brothers and sisters, that opened me up. Do you know that unlike the teachings we have been teaching, that Abraham could not give birth because he was impotent, is not true? Abraham slept with Hagar. Did she get pregnant? What is the importance here about him? This was simple logic. I said, come on. Ah, is this not the Abraham we are saying? It is the deadness of his body. And this, this guy slept with, with uh, Hagar. And Hagar was strategically positioned by Satan. In that place. See, when I show you these things and as we explore, you will see may God help and redefine our Christianity you will see that Jacob was not a thief Jacob was replacing what happened between Isaac and Ishmael you see that that thing that looked like <laughs> that's why it's not called God of Abraham Isaac and Esau it's called God of Ab Din is God blind didn't he see Esau it's called God of Abraham Isaac and And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torment, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. So, it was in Abraham's bosom. All right, 22. And he cried and said, this is the man now in hell. Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus that he may dip the, fing dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in this flame. Um... That flame is not just fire like you know. Because I hope you know their physical bodies are in the earth here. So what kind of fire will torture their spirit body? It's not just the kind of your fire here. Spirits can walk through this fire. Are you getting me? This is a strange kind of fire. It's a fire that causes thirst. When it destroys you, it not only are you going through pain, but it makes sure that there is thirst. It can absorb everything and cause you with the feeling of thirst. And it's very frustrating. Look at this guy. He didn't say let him send um, something to quench the fire. He was asking for a drop of water. And Abraham said, son, remember in your lifetime you received good things. This guy received evil. But now he's comforted and thou art tormented. 26. Now, divine revelation. Please listen. And beside this, there is a gulf between us so that they cannot pass here and there and there. We'll talk about this another time. Hades, 
Abraham's bosom and so on and so forth. 27. Then he said, listen, I pray thee therefore, Father, that thou would send him back to the earth. Are you seeing now? Send him back to the earth to my father's house. So let's see. See, let's walk with what the Bible says. Is that true? Do you believe the word of God? You believe it's the final authority. And you believe it's a more sure word of prophecy. So let's examine the word of God. 28. For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them lest they also come into the place of torment. So what was his request? Please come back to the earth with divine revelation. Abi, go to my family and tell them, ah, I just came back from hell. If they hear you, their hearts will melt and they will change. I don't want them to come here. 29, what happened? Abraham said, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. In other words, it is not God's original strategy to bring people back from the world of the dead to come and bring revelation to the inhabitants of the earth. Abraham was saying, listen, this is not a normal route of God's dealings with people to make them grow. Are you getting what I'm saying? Abraham said they have Moses, the law, and the prophets. They have, they have preachers already. They should listen to them. Verse 30. And he said, nay, Father Abraham, but if one went on to them from the, from the dead, he said what? They will repent. Is that true? 31. And he said unto them, If they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Listen. So these teachings of people going and coming, say they went to the dead and they came back with messages and they saw this and that and that the bible tells us the living and the dead have no relationship is it in your bible is it in your bible that there is something that separates the living and the dead it is appointed unto man to die once and after that the judgment i believe in the resurrection are you getting what i'm saying but by divination people's spirits have been invoked and a lot of things have happened can i tell you many of these places these people went to were certain realms in the spirit they had never been there please get what i'm saying some of these beings they encountered were not jesus christ they encountered spirits if you see a spirit in the realm of the spirit you will still need spiritual intelligence to relate with them because satan can appear as an angel of light jesus said it when he sent the 70 when they returned he said i've seen satan's next strategy the next strategy is not to be a demon again. He has translated himself as an angel of light. And he's now going to go to pulpits as angel of light. He was revealing to them a strategy. He wasn't just telling them that Satan has just fallen like that. Mm -mm. Hallelujah. Satan saw that Jesus could give his authority to men. And they could legislate on his behalf. It gave Satan an idea of the next strategy. He said, why not I translate myself and come as an angel of light, wear suit, and start gathering these people rather than killing them, let me use them. So Jesus began to tell the disciples, I'm praying for you immediately. I've seen something that will happen. Satan has now changed his state to become an angel of light. And he's moving around as elders in churches, moving around as overseers moving around as different things and recruiting men who are entering deception and delusion without knowing but we are this army that god is granting us light alongside many other remnants across the surface of the earth and we are the ones who will break the hold of darkness in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me show you one more scripture. These are the scriptures that talk about out of body experiences. Paul now, the apostle himself. 2 Corinthians chapter 12. Please let's rush. One error we have to kick out of the body of Christ. The messages the people bring. Notice, listen. The Bible says you shall know a tree by what is fruit that's whatever proceeds from that tree is that not true that means like who who said it i, I think it was mike 
that said everything God creates, he leaves an imprint of himself. If God gives you a word and is from him, there will be something about his karagma on that word. How many people, tell me the truth, have been comforted by the recent divine revelation teachings? How many that you know? There are so many people who have gotten into religiosity. People locked up their businesses. People packed out of school. Other people went somewhere. People just killed a lot of things. Fashion designers stopped their businesses. They are broke now. They are suffering because they told them that anything, anything at all. Oh, if you see Wivon, it came from the, the marine power. If you understand Satan, you know that he does not have the power of creation. He has an ability to mimic and corrupt that which is created. Are you getting my point? Now, I, I, you can, everybody has his personal belief and all of that. I'm not, but I'm just saying the reasons people are giving. There is only one reason why people are in hell. Rejecting the gift of salvation that Jesus brings. Are you getting my point? Oh, a man of God did this. This water was for bishop and he quickly drank it and when he was going out car hit him and he found himself that means all of us are going to hell you see that is killing what the bible calls the assurance of salvation so many people even preachers they don't know again whether they are saved or not hallelujah many people don't know whether they are saved or not and now the only way because that's the next thing i wanted to talk about is the false presentation of the gospel of holiness because there is the authentic gospel of holiness i tell you this one may is probably one of the biggest disasters that has happened to the church what has been taught to be the gospel of holiness is not what jesus taught are you getting my point now because a lot of people believe they are going to go to heaven based on the things that they have kept and avoided or done this and that. No, sir. Hallelujah. You have no right to take a revelation and begin to yoke it on people based on your perception of truth. You see, let me tell you something. The army that God is raising is an army that must remain as students we must create a posture that shows that we are students such that you are not ashamed to confront the revelations you have held as authentic when you see a higher light we must have that humility there's nothing embarrassing to accept that look i may not have seen it in this light i was blind but now i see the Bible talks about a man called Apollos. He was a learned man in Acts 18. The last few verses. And the Bible says, but he knew only the baptism of John. Is that true? And then Aquila and Priscilla came. They called him and they expounded to him more perfectly. And he was humble enough to receive. And then he now went to the temple and began to debate and argue intelligently. There are lots of people in the body of Christ who are under bondage. Terrible bondage. That innocently came, but is a product of the spirit of deception. For instance, there are many people who believe that if I, let me use a lady, come. If I give this lady a hug more, ah, this, this may be a problem. I've done something I've compromised it can cost me my salvation and so because I have to shift to that religious mold listen please I'm not criticizing any any church are you following me now this is an apostolic teaching it's a teaching to the body of Christ salvation is personal your dealings with God is personal and it's time for us to kick the walls that are stopping us from entering the authentic experience of the kingdom because of this right now the guy can sit down he does not yet have the ability to conquer lust but religious mold has made him to know or to feel 
that okay you must confirm and then people are looking at him and he looks like a sanctimonious brother whereas he's dying with masturbation because that's the only thing he can do and the devil says this is exactly what i want and then he uses it to bring condemnation and the guy gets up and before men he's wonderful and he's struggling and the sister is struggling and they go back and keep doing it there are all kinds of atrocities happening in our churches pastors sleeping with members many things are happening everybody carries a nice cloth and we come and hide under this demon called religion hallelujah that does not mean we'll be lawless this is the balance again because some other people in an attempt to address this just like me they tell people okay fine don't be religious don't do this dress anyhow do what you want to do say anything so you can be in the church i can be preaching and a lady can just come and i'll just hold her give her a nice peg and say sweet how you look sweet and you sit down those garbages will be part of what will exit out of the body of christ there is a lot of another dimension of imbalance are you getting my point now we have all kinds of carelessness i believe that these things are not the things that determine salvation but then there, there are some things that just don't make sense a man of god comes hanging all kinds of chains around him with all kinds of rings tearing his jeans sagging them i mean i'm not talking of a guest some a little youth meeting or boot camp this is the, the, the default is the overseer of the ministry he comes with his glasses comes and all that is nonsense it's a spirit of seduction hallelujah a woman comes on stage and she's preaching half of the message the brothers are not following their minds are they are just struggling lord i will make heaven i need to grow this is another balance so let me balance it very quickly because there are a group of immature revivalists arising in their bid to contend these things in the flesh i just telling people be as lawless as you can be that's a sign that we're out of the law there is a balance we're a disciplined army we're not idiots liberty is not rebellion hallelujah thank you jesus second corinthians 12 from verse 3 to 4 did i say from verse 3 to 4 verse 3 and i knew such a man paul speaking listen please whether in the body or out of the body i cannot tell god knoweth for how that he was caught up into paradise and had what unspeakable words which are not lawful for men to what is that in your bible that means all these ones that people go have you not seen that many times when the apostles see revelation he tells them seal this is for an appointed time but now people come back with every message this is deception are you getting my point now there are a few people however who we have judged their revelations based on the integrity of God's word and we have found that their messages have brought healing and hope to the body of Christ for such kind of people we commend them and we endorse them but even at that point their word does not become the final the final uh, what do we call it now this thing that they yardstick I cannot begin to run my ministry after Mary Baxter's vision are you getting my point i've had a lot of visions i live in the realm of visions i can never run ministry just based on visions ask the leaders every time i see anything no matter how authentic the experience is the word of god must prove it not confirm it prove it prove it 
The Bible didn't say confirm all things. It said prove all things. If you are looking for confirmation, you will find it. You will find a scripture that endorses a man sleeping with a woman although they are not married. It's in the Bible. The Bible is a prophetic book. You can make it speak any language you want. The Bible did not say use the Bible just to confirm things. Prove it. Test the spirit behind it. Everybody now is looking for confirmation. So we get the revelation from all kinds of realms. That's the reason why you go to native doctors and the rest, you see Bibles there. Because since it's Bible you want, they keep it there for you. When it's time to do the spell, they say, lay your hands on the Bible and swear that you will be faithful. And you swear, but they will still do their demonic things. And you will be convinced that because there was a Bible there, it was God. Because of this deception. You don't use the Bible for confirmation. The Bible proves all things, yet nothing proves it. When I talk of Bible, I'm not just talking about the error of men. I'm talking about the edited spirit word that is given. Hallelujah. What do I talk about again? I want to show you something. One other error in the body of Christ is neglecting the reality of spiritual laws. I said it. Everybody say it after me, both inside and outside. Spiritual laws abound. They exist. They are real. As real as physical laws. Look at me. Do you know why God did not kill Cain when he sinned? Because he knew that there were spiritual laws at work. Are you getting my point? And those laws will catch up with him. Are you following me now? when you violate certain things and some things happen to you it's not like god brought it there are laws are you getting my point jump from this building now praying in tongues as you are jumping for no reason it's not like they threw you to destroy you that you expect you expect the hand of god just jump from it what do you think will happen to you because of the existence of a law now watch this regardless of that law a plane still moves is that true does the movement of the plane stop the fact that there is that law? It means it's operating by another law that shields it. Are you getting what I'm saying? Curses are real. Yokes are real. Manifestations of witchcraft in lives and families are real. They are very real. Listen, these are spiritual laws. What light does for us is to tap into what Christ has done and exempt ourselves. Are you getting me? Let's look at one scripture and then we'll pray. That does it for today. Just one scripture. I want to show you a scripture. Psalm 64. Let's trace these activities of those we call familiar spirits every time i teach it's always in my culture to try to bring balance there is a lot of junk about deliverance demonology and so on and so forth however i believe that there is an accurate perspective that we can look at to gain understanding hear my voice oh god this was the psalmist praying by revelation preserve my life from the fear of the enemy too Hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked. From the insurrection of the workers of iniquity. Verse 3. Hmm. Who wet their tongue like a sword. That means these guys speak certain things. And bend their bows to shoot their arrows. Even bitter words. Verse 4. He said that they may shoot in secret at the perfect suddenly they do shoot at him and fear not verse 5 it says they encourage themselves in an evil matter they come they commune of lyingness privately they say who shall see them six they do what they search out who are these people 
that search out they go to an extent where did they write it that they go back to archives and search out iniquities of families are you following me now this is in your bible they search out iniquities he said they accomplish a what diligent search they are meticulous when god opened my eyes to this it surprised me are you getting my point now have you read that word blotting out every handwriting so there are handwritings correct there are ordinances the bible says they search out iniquities hallelujah maybe at another time i will continue this teaching of these angels that i told you because when they fell listen they wanted to translate themselves back to the angelic state they did not know that god had the power to stop them so in an attempt to translate themselves back they were stopped they are the ones who have become demons today are you getting me so they need material bodies to find expression this is the basis of traditionalists this is the basis of a lot of things that we celebrate in the rampant outbreak of the prophetic that we call word of knowledge you see it they search out i'm not saying everything is corrupt are you getting my point now but i'm telling you that many of these things otherwise how can a herbalist look at you how many of you have seen these guys that scam and swindle people in a car and sometimes they will give you an they will take you to one baba right and give you an accurate word of knowledge how did they know because they don't have the holy spirit so there must be some spiritual system hmm. they search out iniquities it is on the basis of this search that lucifer satan the accuser of the brethren are you getting me now based on these findings this is what he reports and he says god according to your justice this is what has happened that means there is a law that should follow this family are you getting my point point? and suddenly you find out women are not getting married people are not getting married things are not working nothing is working anybody comes to you for a relationship what will happen to him in two weeks nobody will tell him he will pack his load by himself and go and you are wondering what in the world is going on listen listen it is demonic many of us and our loved ones are victims of these things but they've told you hallelujah just believe it's not there again you say it's not there again you went back it's still there this thing is following you you see patterns i told you this thing satan wants transgenerational allegiance many students you are very brilliant like exam right now you go to the class and you find out that you black out in all sincerity other people think you are lazy you know you are not lazy there is a puzzle somewhere you are trying to understand now you come to the ministers and they tell you did you read yes they say all right i speak over you it is well and demons just mock the men of god and say look at how shallow and the student goes back and gets the same kind of tragedy but when there is light darkness must bow this is the reason why you are hearing testimonies of sudden admissions sudden this and that see brothers and sisters i taught you that every time you speak the realm of the spirit will check what revelation you are standing on are you seeing why some people's words are not powerful because when you speak the devil knows you don't even know what you are saying you are just carrying the delusion of faith and you're just saying i speak leave this family now based on what what is the spiritual intelligence that sponsors that statement when you have it there is light in your spirit and it is that light that will force that dimension of darkness that's why sometimes you can see as we are teaching the power of god just breaks out and demons are living or maybe during the miracle service these things are not magic it's a product of light are you getting my point as you're sitting under this teaching now 
a lot of things are suddenly coming in your mind are you getting me now it's now making sense to you why your father was walking although an elder in church he grew to a certain height and he fell and that's exactly what has been happening he went for deliverance and fell down he got up and the same thing has happened with that it has even gotten worse have you seen people who come and receive some miracles and go back and their families become worse it's a spiritual blackmail to discredit the ministry of the men of God so that they will say they got powers from darkness not everybody got power from that are you getting my point now you see how complicated the body of Christ is at this point that's why we need accuracy please don't miss the meetings because there is a there is a construction there is a we want to go back to this foundation what is responsible for the darkness in our lives nothing just happens brothers and sisters as you're seated right now you know that this word you are hearing is the deliverance of your family this word you are hearing some of us who are parents here and are seated we know that this is the puzzle behind the things that are happening hallelujah but it will take light brothers and sisters it takes spiritual intelligence during the monday counseling i was ministering to a lady and as soon as she came and i casted out the spirit and at once the lady just lay down and the lord opened my eyes at once and i saw the spirit in the realm of the spirit it was laughing and i said the lord rebuke you the protocol were here and the, the lady jacked back up somebody would have said thank you jesus and he just get up say, ah, that's it and the demons would say kai men of god of these days they are not powerful at all say after me the light of god is upon me taking away every darkness and by the power of the holy spirit i become an agent of healing prosperity deliverance and grace to all around me and my family members hallelujah this is what is responsible for many things in our families this is why you find out that certain tribes and certain geographical places are prone to certain attitudes we say these things do not happen but we are seeing it there is a spirit upon the continent of africa that is responsible for what is happening hallelujah you see people come from certain places you see people come from plateau state you see people come from kaduna state from kogi state from lagos from the river and areas you see patterns that are happening yet we say oh it, there's there's nothing wrong i'm okay just declare that i'm okay and you say i'm okay and the demons say i'm fine too i'm fine with you i like this revelation you're having i'm fine with it but when light strikes see there are many of you based on this revelation you will start calling home and your parents will start telling you what is this dream that i'm having what is, you will see that there are shiftings know that is a response to what is happening it's already happening in some families right now you are seeing it you something you just know you can't explain but you know that certain foundations these demon spirits are saying who is this who is this this is le a level of light that is notable and they they begin to walk but you see light does not beg darkness authentic light comes and comes to conquer hallelujah this is the mystery behind this healing of hiv and all of these things you are seeing when you understand them no man of god will boast and brag in himself because in all sincerity when you know this is just a proper application of spiritual intelligence hallelujah it's like clapping for yourself because you took your bath you say what i'm so impressed that i can bath what is special about that you can clap for a baby because you say this is amazing ah 
you bath yourself the child will say yes say clap for yourself and he claps now imagine that sam comes to see me and i just said i, I finished bath and sam will say boy am i impressed a time will come what we celebrate as power will take another dimension what men of god have camped around it will be ordinary people who will be doing it because of the higher dimensions of grace are you getting me time for miracle service we'll just say you go and bring those who you heal delivered prayed for and come we testify together and receive greater grace do you know the training you are receiving now is such that it puts you to work immediately and your jerusalem is your family anyone who is not concerned about his family is so, is a sign that something is wrong with you bishop a pretty lady with nobody to marry her getting into the 40s nobody to marry her people say it's just like that the ratio of men to women is so on and so forth what is all that but when you sustain spiritual intelligence you can say light be and it will become hallelujah praise the lord rise up on your feet let's pray i want us to take some time please pray as you pray tonight certain things will begin to happen in your life please everybody participate in the prayer as you pray tonight something will begin to happen in your families you will begin to feel the spiritual shift the devil must give up on you this year and your family members hold hands together and begin to pray in tongues please instrumentalists help us hold hands together and just begin to pray in tongues please pray seriously prayer is a spiritual law it has nothing to do with convenience you're not filled with the holy ghost as we pray let the power of god come upon you that you begin to utter those mysteries please pray Rekete koto prakata balabara, mabroso to presko sekete lekete koto balaraba. You will contend until victory comes. You will contend. Rekete kete. Outside, make sure you are praying. Outside, make sure you are praying. Rekoto prakete leba kapata kata prakata balaraba. Rekoto broska pakata, pakata prakata leka, maka bresko prende kozema. Every second lebo kosho prakata balaraba. Mabra tosko pa indekea, ebresko prakata leko tos, maka prakata leko tos prakata balaraba. Meke broske taliaba. Arise, arise, by light, by revelation, arise. Shake up darkness, shake up darkness. Reketeko, reketeleketeka. Pray and say, I'm changing. I'm changing. My status is changing. Reketekelebaha. There's no more decline. I'm on my way to better days, to the life God designed for me. Hallelujah. The answer to the tragedy of my family is already unfolding this age-long puzzle is opening come on pray in the spirit activate breakthroughs in the spirit you are praying out of the depth of revelation Rekete kete kete prakata baladadaba, mam prakata prakasha kete, rekata prakata baladabash, rapoko sofre kete, rekete kebo shapari ama, mam prakete lebo koso prakete bosh. Please no looking at one another. Pray, pray, pray. Rekete bosh ko prakoto baladaba, 
Your flesh may be weak, but pray is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Is a sacrifice. Prayer is a sacrifice. It's not about convenience. It's about the higher revelation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Prayer point number one. You are going to pray. Hallelujah. And you are going to say, Lord, I dispel darkness out of my life. Are you hearing me? You are going to say, Lord, by the light, whatever represents darkness in my life, it bows tonight. Lift your voice and pray. It could be sickness in your body. It could be a yoke of bondage. Satan is only as powerful as the darkness in us permits him. Pray. Let light shine. God who had commanded light to shine out of darkness had shined in our hearts to grant unto us the knowledge of the glory of God as seen on the face of Jesus. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Prophesy. Light. Light to my family. Light. Prophesy. Light to your exams. Light to your academics. The powers that be, they must bow tonight by the force of revelation. Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall live by every revelation. Revelation brings life. It brings light. It brings power. Pray. Babylon is falling. That corrupt system. That secrecy of evil. That genetic code of wickedness. That is responsible for the life that people are living the wickedness the pain cause that system that that one must fall by a road of a higher priesthood this is not the ironic priesthood our confidence is tied to a higher priesthood after the order of Melchizedek is a priesthood of glory is a priesthood of power Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Was he praying? You're going to mention every area of your life one by one. And you're going to say, Lord, the chains, they are broken tonight. Why we sing, play that song, break every chain. Many of you will be surprised. At the testimonies you will have these are not testimonies that are happening by mistake you know how they are happening so you can reproduce it in the life of others lift your voice chains I prophesy be broken chains of delay chains of delay chains of barrenness Chains of fear, chains of failure. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Let the glory of the Lord arise. Chains, chains of pornography, chains of masturbation, chains of wickedness, chains of sickness, chains of joblessness, chains of failure. Chains of witchcraft Break every chain By the power of the blood of Jesus Break every chain We contend By the 
revelation. We storm the gates of hell. We storm the gates of hell by the power of light. We storm Babylon. We prophesy your truth in our lives. Babylon the great. Falling. Babylon the great. Falling. prayer points. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please pair yourselves into two. The Bible says, if any two shall agree as touching anything, you are going to pray for your families right now. This year we must carry our family members along. Listen, listen. Pharaoh said, I will let you go, but leave the children and the animals. Moses said, no way. We are going together. I can't go and allow my sister. Who will save them? You can't go and let your loved ones die like that. Are you getting my point? That prophetic light will shine until every member of your family is part of this. You are going to pray. Confront every darkness in your family. You know the darkness. Lift your voice and pray. The darkness of witchcraft and culture. I contend. Come on, pray. There's no pretense in this place. Pray. Our family members have suffered this cycle of failure by the power of the Holy Ghost. We confront you knowing that we have authority. We expose the doers of evil. We expose the doers of iniquity. We expose the spirit of death, the spirit of failure, that invisible manifestation of darkness that is responsible for death, for barrenness, for miscarriages, for failure. Pray that limitation of poverty confront poverty that spirit that yoke that devilish device that has been projected to your family that is responsible for your financial tragedy confront it it must bow to the power of light for the light shines in the darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend Prophesy a recovery. Prophesy a recovery. I call back opportunities for my family. I call back. I call back their spiritual fervency. I call back their finances. I call back the joy. Hallelujah. One more prayer point and we are done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for Koinonia. We are going to say, Lord, let your light shine. People must be liberated. Are you hearing me? Let me tell you something. Listen. Hear me inside and outside. Every one of you who comes for this meeting, your coming alone is a miracle. Are you hearing me? If you know the powers of darkness, that if they had their way, would stop you from hearing what you are hearing. Ask the people that come for counseling. 90% of them tell you the morning for counseling something stops them or an accident and they almost capsize. The devil hates light. He loves argument. He loves religion. But this year, we are storming the gates of hell. The Lord is showing me someone. You literally feel as though they put pepper in your eyes. When you look at light like this, it burns you seriously. 
this thing started this year who is that person please who is that person who is that person oh Is she the okay? Come. Who brought her? Mama? Does she, can I speak English or does she want answer? Come now. Why are you afraid? Huh? What's what's the issue? Diabetes. Diabetes. It's affecting her eyes. I will pray for her. Tell her I will pray for her and the Lord will heal her. Is she hearing? Is she here? Mama, I will pray for you right now. This is a spirit. Be healed of diabetes right now. I come against that foul spirit. Check herself. Find out that there's no diabetes again. You, you came for yourself. What's wrong with you? Um, it's not about the sick. Okay. I need marriage and. Uh, you want to get married? Go straight to the point. Look, let me tell you something. If we ask you to come out here and we and you are just talking stories, you go back to your seat. Praise God. This is this is a family. Nobody is against marriage here. Is that true? If you came here for marriage, when we are praying, receive it. Don't say my neighbor will look. You don't want to get married. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at me. Did you hear the testimonies of the marriage? Sir? The marriage yes, testimonies. Yes, Do you believe God is still at work in this place? Yes, sir. Hold my hands. Are you in a relationship? You need to be delivered first before marriage. Hmm? I release you from this curse. This is what has been holding her back. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. We will come back with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for supernatural marriages. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Some of you will need to outside. Are you, can you hear me outside? You can stand for yourself or for your family members. I want to pray. Make sure the person you want to get married to is of the opposite sex. Hallelujah. Can I pray for you? Please believe the Lord. Because one of the things that has been happening in this place is supernatural inexplainable the hand of God lift your hands hmm. in the name that is above all names now there are some of you as I pray you see some of you what is stopping you is the hand of darkness for a few people not everybody because I'm seeing spirits the moment I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, the hand of God will come upon some people. Hallelujah. It will come upon them in a mighty way. That's what is stopping the marriage. Lift your hands. Not everybody you can receive, but there are some people, this is what they need. Hallelujah. 
When I say in the name of Jesus, I just want you to shout, I receive. The moment you say that God will visit some people, I see God touching two ladies outside on this. This, this marriage thing, we must deal with it this night. How many of you believe it? In the mighty name of Jesus. Now that devil of darkness that is responsible for delay in marriages. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now. That devil of darkness that is responsible. The power of God is falling. That devil. There are spirits that are responsible for delay. Come out. 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 These are demon spirits. Out in the name of Jesus. The Lord rebuke you. The Lord rebuke you. Marital delay. The Lord rebuke you. I tell you, God is setting people free. Marital delay as is happening. Marital delay. Marital delay is a yoke of bondage outside. The fire of God is visiting a few people. All those above 30, 30 and above who have not gotten married, ladies, let God visit you now. I release that fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Let there be testimonies of supernatural marriages. This role. I see an angel standing there is one lady the power of God will come upon you strong that devil of darkness enough is enough just this room because I see the angel of the Lord standing Lord let that person come out the Holy Ghost will bring you out you will come out you will come out you will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost leave her alone she will come out no Hallelujah. I want to curse barrenness. Are you listening to me? Now is the time to stand for your loved ones, for yourself. Some of you lived all kinds of reckless past lives. As you are standing now, you may not even have a womb. A new one will come upon you. When God forgives sins, He forgives consequences. I don't care what the biological complication is. I like you to receive. You will come back with testimonies. Hallelujah. Now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. That curse of childlessness. In the name of Jesus. I set you free. I set you free. I set your loved ones free. I set you free. Any barren person in this place, any barren family in this place, ma ta 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 ta, re ke te te te, re ke te te te, re ke po shoto, ba toko po te ke, re ke te po soko toba, le ke po riata, ma re ke te 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 te, e ke po roko pa kata. You will come back with miracle children. You will come back with miracle children. Your loved ones will come back with miracle children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for a few people. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God is showing me some people. You've been so you are an adult, but you don't know what happens. You've been suffering from bedwetting. 
you wake up in the morning and you find out that you are easing yourself on your bed. There's, no, there's nothing to be embarrassed. Man. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are that kind of person. Come and stand out here quickly. Forget about who is watching you. Nobody has that time. Let me tell you. There are people like that. A devil of darkness. Inside and outside. This is a, this is a demonic issue. There are people, oh, there are people. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed. It's a spirit, it's not just about discipline. You can't stop it with discipline. I don't know why God is visiting that situation. Hallelujah. Let's take the next case. I'm seeing problems with your heart. Whether hole in your heart or any form of asthmatic condition. Please come out quickly. Hole in your heart or asthmatic condition. Please let's save time. That devil is a liar. I've, I had an accident. After the accident, they said my heart will enlarge and there is uh, infection. It will, it will go back. Amen. Be free right now. Amen. Heart, return to your normal condition. Infection, go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. As I lay hands on you, whatever the issue is, you will be healed of it. Whether heart, asthma, be free right now. Please make sure you are coming out for the case we have mentioned. What are you coming out for? Feeling a hole in my heart. Always, ever since I saw one from Osa. After Did the doctors treatment. tell you? Yes. After the treatment. The also that's been disturbing me, but it's just for a while. But that whole sister, come, God will visit you. This has nothing to do with ulcer. Hmm? Where's your you have an elder sister? Yes, where is she? She's in Abuja. Is she married? Yes, what was she doing? She's married, but the first child she gave birth to it has been a problematic child. But this is six years now. She has not stepped her feet on the on the ground, and she has not started talking. And Let all this while, she has not given birth at all. Lay one hand on your chest. See, whatever is happening to one person here is happening to you too. Are you listening to me? You must believe it. This lady with yellow. That lady, you, 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 no, no, don't come out. Just lift your hands where you are. Both of your hands now, are you pledging? Look at me. Father, visit this girl. The Lord is showing me something about her. Lord, visit this lady. Set her free. It's like a mighty rushing wind. That spirit will not stand. It's looking like a knife is going through you. Set her free, Lord. What's wrong with you? Lay your hands there. Since when? Just lay your hands and look at me. Don't worry. Oh, 
the name of Jesus. Heart. Okay, just hold my hands as I pray for you. You'll be free. Be free in the name of Jesus. Come. You love God very well. What of you is not true. How true is it? Eh? Shall we see how true it is? Lord, be sitting. I break this addiction from your life. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Why did you say it's true? You do. Amen. Let it not corrupt your Christian testimony. Amen. God is not just visiting you, but your family. You are in for it with God this night because it's, it's multiple. Some families have put some people in trouble they don't know. Parents in their innocence have gone to do things in a bit to try to help the be healed, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be made whole, be free. This is what is happening. This thing is all the way from Lagos. This is God setting this lady free. Sometimes we do things, parents be careful. You go to places and do things believing you are helping your children. Be free in the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. I release you in the name of Jesus Christ because God wants to use you in your mighty healing ministry. Be healed in the name of Jesus. My brother, God is calling you this night. When I make the altar call, before I finish, just run and come and stand here. Right? This is your night. Eh? There is no issue of running to God and then... God brought you because we love you. Okay? You deserve You deserve You deserve The lifting of my You deserve Just walk with me. You Don't be looking at me. Don't worry. what this means this is confusion and this is why god is telling me this is how your life is that's why i held you and i was walking god wants to set you free from serious confusion you are easily deceived anybody can tell you anything and that's why i was moving around this does not this is confusion you get easily deceived anybody just say anything and you believe can i pray for you Hold my hands, both of your hands. <laughs> Satan, it's time up for you with this lady. Foul spirit. 
You will let this lady go. Release her. You can't stand it. I've seen you in the spirit. God is against you. This demonic thing must leave you. So pakapata. Reketebola koso preti kadebaus. That you will have a strong heart. Bible says be wise as serpents. What are you here for, my sister? Oh, while you were praying, you saw yourself on the ground. You decided to come and report yourself. <laughs> what do you think God is doing? Just stretch your hands like you're receiving something. Look at me. Truly, you will receive something. Just look at me. Come heavy because you are receiving spiritual things. <laughs> you can't hold it, it's too heavy for you. For you and for all your family members, may God visit you. God is not done with you. There is a fire that will burn you. The same thing will be happening to your family members. You need to be free. You love God, but there are all kinds of encumbrances. This night, this one is not just deliverance. This one is God catching you finally for him. Lord, take over her whole life from head to toe. Take over everything you can take over in this lady's life. Cares, go! Cares, go! Yes, go! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray. Just leave her out because she's not recovering soon. This one is not just deliverance. God is taking, I have found my servant David. This is what is happening. When God finds a man, he doesn't leave you easily. He makes sure that you rise up with a hunger that nothing else. I trust God that this will happen to many people in this place. Tonight. Because I tell you, pastor, a lot of people are in certain situations because they love God but they have cares. So they, are, they, are, they easily become praise. It's not enough to, to be healed or to be delivered. Your heart must be with God for you to walk in sustainable victory. Many people like miracle service. They just run and come and take the miracle and then they run away. But let me tell you something. Your heart, come sister. Unto him come who sits on the throne Let God find you today. Are you hearing me? To Jesus, the Lamb, who was made. Hold my hand. Father, find a vessel in this lady. Do with her what only you can do. Ignite a fire in her spirit. Even as you have revealed to me, let this lady have a, a passion that cannot be quantified. In the name of Jesus, every spiritual weakness leaves you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lamb who was slain. Hallelujah. The Lord is healing my grain headache. The Lord is healing my grain headache. My grain headache. Intense my grain headache. Where's my neighbor? Is she here? She, she didn't come. Please come. Tonight the Lord is going to visit you. 
See, many of you don't know that there's something called the season of God's visitation. Who is precious here? Precious. You are precious. Your real name, old one, precious. Make sure it's the name your father gave you, not the one you gave yourself. This night, say I must be precious. God, you must visit me. Many people threaten me with text messages during the miracles. I say, see, God must visit me. Hallelujah. Lord is visiting you. Hold my hands. This demon of marital delay is going. You will go to a real deliverance, right? Come out! Come out of her! Sataka balata pokosia. The fire of God is burning your whole body from head to toe. It's a foul spirit. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. It, I'm announcing it this night. In this area, we are going to celebrate your wedding. That foul devil, come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out of her. Come out. Of her. Come out. Come out of her. Come out, you foul spirit. Lift up your heads, O ye gates. Be ye lifted. This is a snake. Look at, look at what is happening. Look at what is happening. Are you seeing? Look at, look at this. This is what is responsible. Come out. Come out of her in the name of Jesus. Just leave her. I cannot stand. It's going. Now, foul devil, you will release her. There is no hiding. The power of God is against you. You will go and return no more. And as you are going, I call forth your husband, not a man. Your husband. Your husband. Precious. All of you. All of you are... No, no, no. I didn't ask my green to come out. But since you came out, may God visit you. You have an elder brother. Where is he? He's in Abuja. Doing what? He's, no, he's doing nothing. He went for holidays. Which holiday? He went to Hosu. Tell him to come back. This is what happens to people. They, they just believe that bread is in Abuja. Let me tell you. If some of you want to run, you want to fake visa and run to Germany. Can I tell you something? The Bible says promotion comes neither from the east nor the west. Because some of you are already planning. You just believe. You say you are running. Where to say greener pastures? The Bible says he makes me lie down in The green pastures is the presence of God. Don't feel embarrassed. Okay? May the Lord visit you and visit your brother in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be a great teacher of the word. Huh? You will be a great teacher of the word. Something like light will hit your eyes right now. And God will give you the spirit of revelation. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Open his eyes. Open his eyes. You will be rich, oh. Because you have suffered, you will be rich. And look at me, I'm not just, this is not entertainment. I'm telling you the word of the Lord. Huh? Never forget the house of God, but you will be mightily blessed. How it will happen, we even make people think you went to diabolic, you went and did diabolic things. May the Lord bring this to pass. You will see it happen. Some 
of you, you don't know that God will use you more than you have planned. You just think you will just be passive in the house of God and not do anything. No way. God knows how to get you. He will bring you for miracle service quietly. While you are thinking fashion and business and this, God is thinking fashion plus ministry. It's not just fashion, oh my dear, and beauty makeup. Is, is, is a serious call. Her name is Precious. Where's your mother? Where? Do you believe God wants to visit your family? Yes. Tell your mother to forgive everybody that has done whatever. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? Who offended her? It was one of our uncles. She said, Abba. To her, she said that he, she used to tell us as our children that that he maltreated. This her. thing since when she was small when till now. Small. This is what is stopping her breakthrough. Did you discuss this with me? No. Let her forgive, please. For as long as you keep somebody down, part of you will still be down. Is that true? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. All those who are called into the worship ministry, please, listen. If you come out here, I, I don't mean you like singing or you have a passion. No, I, I like singing. I'm not called into the worship ministry. You get my point? Please, don't be emotional about, about it. Come and line up here quickly. Quickly. God wants to visit people. I don't know why. Worship ministry will be alive to see you if after this prayer... Worship ministry. Ah. Please think about it all. <laughs> See, the worship ministry is not a hobby. Blessed is he. If there's no space, just stand where you are because fire... There's going to be a restoration of the Davidic order of worship. Believe it. I'm going to stand. Listen, as I walk around this place, the power and is, is fire that will come. It will catch many of you in a mighty way. Lord Jesus, as I begin to take it, take it right now. Take it. Fall. Fall. Take it. Take it. Take the fire. 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 The Davidic order of worship. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Take the fire. Shaka baladabataka. Sing like angels. Receive it. It's coming on you. Lift up your hands, all of you that came to the front. My God, let it fall right now. My God, let it fall right now. To those standing at the door, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Healing anointings. Take it. Make sure you are receiving it. You will write songs. Many of you will hear songs in your spirit. New songs. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, receive it, psalms, hymns, spiritual songs, songs of power, songs of light, songs of grace, songs of healing. Thank 
Consecration is the key. Consecration is the key to a life of true worship. Consecration. Thank God for the music dimension. But consecration is the key to a genuine life. You want to stand, some of you are already looking for money. If this is your ambition, you will not get this Davidic anointing. It doesn't happen that way. Your heart must pant after God and after his kingdom. You must stay in the place of training until he builds you. Oh, let it fall. Yes, Lord, let it fall. Let it fall. As it were in the days of Jehoshaphat. Let it fall. Let it fall. Let it fall. Dimensions. Lord, release it from the east side of the temple. Let there be a releasing. Songs of power. Songs of the spirit. Hallelujah. So that we will do mighty things for our God. Hallelujah. Please go back to your seat. Thank you, Jesus. Did you bring prayer requests? Please pass them quickly. Now, all those who are sick, inside and outside, please, I'd like you to come out quickly. While this is happening, be passing the prayer request. Please, let's save time. Do it quickly. Mighty things are happening in this place. Man, de 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 ba koso so so ba de 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 do prato shubata zike te 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 preke te bele de bush. Please don't be in a rush this night, because what God wants to do, He has not finished. Zizi zizi mene ke te bele de bush. Please, you are sick. Come out, just ushers help me and line them up, please. Please. Quickly, quickly, this is a miracle service. As you come and stand, trust God for your miracle. Trust God for your healing, please. If you are doubting, just go back to your seat. Anybody who is, please play the instruments. Anybody, mic, music director, whoever. Malia Marako, Sobreti Kalabash. Those of you, those of you staying, make sure you are praying for them. As I lay my hands on you, I want to assure you. Please believe God for real miracles. Some of you as you are standing, because there is a healing river, as you are standing, you can't stand that majestic healing presence of the Holy Spirit. It's a majestic presence. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit's gentle touch, help me, Pastor. Please help him with your mic. Is flowing. Jesus, Jesus. we, we believe. believe. Make sure you pass Jesus, your prayer request. I tell you, there is a there healing is river. Healing in your there is a day. healing river. Hey, hey. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. Let an so holy spirit gentle touch is I pray for you begin to check yourself. Jesus, we believe. Jesus, there is healing in your name. Almighty Father, Almighty Father, we lift our hands to you to receive the power. Do as you would do.
your presence there is healing oh yes the holy spirit gentle touch is blowing jesus we believe somebody call in jesus there is healing in your
your prayer requests. Those outside, God will soon do something mighty. The Lord is showing me a vision right now. It will rain is here tonight to meet you at the point of your knees. one of the biggest miracles that will happen in this place tonight. Many of you don't know what a breakthrough is. The Bible says, and Abraham was old and stricken in age, and God had blessed him in all things. This is what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Please, if you have not submitted your request, let me tell you where we got the revelation of this. The Bible says, and they sent a threat letter to Hezekiah. Remember? And the Bible says Hezekiah took the letter and came and dropped it on the altar and showed God the threatenings. And when that happened, there was wisdom that was revealed and they strategized worshippers. And the Bible says that they began to fight themselves in the camp. You will see a lot of confusion as we begin to pray for this thing. I don't mean confusion here. Confusion in the camp of the enemy. Whatever request you brought in this place, I really want, many of you don't know what God is doing this night. God is setting people on fire. We have a few minutes remaining. But God will visit you. We want you to come back with evidences that God touched you. See, when you get results, it's a consolation to your Christian work. Are you listening to me? Those outside, look at some of you standing. Standing right across, I see you. God cannot allow you to go back the same way. It's impossible. You didn't come to meet an idol. Hallelujah. Rise up on your feet, everybody. It's a very prophetic moment right now. As we pray, I'd like to ask the ministers, Pastor Williams. Pastor. So. Please, 
if you've not written your request, drop it. God is doing great things in this place. As we begin to pray on this request. Hallelujah. Pray along with us. Prophesy. Stretch your hands and pray. Tell the Lord, this is my request, O oh Lord. This is my request. Father, locate people. Locate people, O oh God. Locate cases. There are, there are difficult cases. Cases of barrenness. Deliverances for families. Lord, this is an altar you have sanctified. In one accord we pray. Just lay your hands across it. As we release the virtue of perfection. Total breakthroughs. Academic breakthroughs. Shepakatapaladaba. Make sure you are praying. Say, Lord, my request in this is in this place. Locate it. Those online, we are connecting with them also in the spirit. Those following us on all of our online channels. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Release breakthroughs to families. We sanctify these requests. These Egyptians will never be seen in families and lives again. Change stories, oh God. Omnipotent Father, Lord God of mercy and grace, the God who says a thing and accomplishes it in the life of his children, the I am that I am, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Who is there like unto you? You are greater than the greatest. You are stronger than the strongest. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are the one who sits in the heavens and you made the earth your full stool. You are great. You are greatly to be praised. We thank you because of this opportunity that you have given unto us, O oh God, to bring down our needs, our supplication, our requests unto your feet. You said in your word that you are able to do exceedingly and abundantly far above all we ever ask, think or imagine according to the power that is at work within us. We thank you, O oh God, because we know that every need that has been penned down, every request that has been written down, you have already seen it. You have already seen it. And because you have seen it, we thank you because this, this request has seen by the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And we see you doing great things in this place tonight. Thank you for the testimonies. Thank you for the testimonies that are coming out from this pen down written notes. We thank you for the testimonies coming out from this. In the name of Jesus, we bless you because we know that we will come here next time to give you thanks of what you have done. Thank you Lord because every need Every need, every need here, they are met. Amen. We give you thanks. Thank you, Lord we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. We give you thanks. Oh God, we give you thanks. Lord, we give you thanks. We give you praise. For we know. 
that all things work together for our good. We give you thanks. We give you praise. For by faith we know your grace. We see us through. Praise the Lord. My God, as I pray, you gave me an anointing to bless, an anointing to release. Father, as many people as are in this place, inside and outside, they came here hungry. And Lord, as I speak on behalf of the government of heaven, let these words be so effectual. Let these words be fervent. Respond, O oh God. Every word I declare, let there be testimonies that will return. Every word that I'm about to declare to you, please when I pray, I like you to shout Amen with all your heart. Because I sense a very strong prophetic anointing coming upon me. I really want to speak from the depths of my heart. I don't just want you to believe it. I want you to return. The Bible says, and the 70 returned rejoicing. Hallelujah. Shiva I want to pray for families. Lift your hands. Let's start with families right now. Please, I'd like you to shout amen with all your heart. Hallelujah. Every family represented in this place, every family, any curse, any ordinance of darkness, every yoke of bondage, afflicting any family I set you free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus I set families free now in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. father mother brothers sisters be free be free, be free, be free, be free, be free, be free. Oh, you will come back with testimonies. Anyone here, whether you or your family members looking for a job in the mighty name that is above all names between today and the next 40 days I place a demand upon the heavens receive miracle jobs receive miracle jobs Receive miracle job for you, for your loved ones. And the next 40 days, I open up doors, jobs everywhere, banks, oil companies, lecturing jobs, and you may receive it. All those seeking for admission into higher institutions of learning, whether for you or for your loved ones, I don't care how long they have waited. Tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that yoke of delay is broken in the name of Jesus. Let the next admission list of various higher institutions 
carry their names in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Those with any kind of academic issue, I don't care what it is. Any kind of academic, whether missing script. You're on probation, you are trusting the hand, whatever it is. You're doing your project, things are difficult. Whatever academic issue tonight, in the name of the Lord God of Israel, the one who does wonders in this place, I declare, step into a season of academic victory. Step into a season of academic victory. I release you from any kind of bondage. I release you any kind of academic bondage. Be free. Be free. Amen. Be free. Amen. Hallelujah. All those who are due for marriage, whether you or your love, your loved ones, see, let me tell you in this place, once you are of marriageable age, you must marry. Are you hearing me? Are you listening to me? What did I say? Right. Hallelujah. Somebody married, that's why you are here. You must marry. Praise God. Are you listening to me? Right now, I speak as a servant of the living God. I've prayed about it, but I will pray again. I pray. Some of you, you are a lady, you are pretty. But no man can come around. This is a curse. Tonight I pray that your wives and your husbands, those of you who are who have concubines and etc. When I make the altar call run out here, because this is what will stop you. You are entitled to only one wife. Say amen. You are entitled to only one husband. Say amen. The spirit of double dating dies here tonight. Leave another sister's husband to locate her husband. Leave another brother's wife to locate him. But I pray in the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, may there be fearful or inspiring miracle marriage. Take it. Take it. Before December 31st, 2013, come back with testimonies for yourself, for your loved ones. We supply the resources, we supply the grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Any terminal disease in this place? HIV, whatever it is, hallelujah, infections, all kinds of satanic names, I declare right now, we curse it from the root in the name of Jesus. Anyone here whose genotype is SS or AS, in the name that is above all names be changed be changed to AA I change it in the name of the Lord receive it receive a change of genotype you will come back with testimonies believe it, receive it everything he made he made it beautiful any kind of demonic dreams and oppressions of darkness. Some of you see people sleep with you. Some of you see all kinds of demonic things. Molestations of darkness. I pray right now. The last time you had that dream or that experience, let it be the last time forever in your life. I said let it be the last time forever. Let it be the last time forever. Satan, I curse you. I cause every foul Amen, amen, amen. All 
those who are students and are in final year, I declare those who need the mercy of God for their graduation, I pray right now, let policies be changed. Let something happen in your faculty that has never happened. We release you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I want to prophesy restoration. Whatever it is that you have lost, whether as a result of your past or mistakes, opportunities, graces, I pray that the God who regulates times and seasons, let that season come back to your life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every lecturer in this place or those who your parents are lecturers stand for them, I want to speak. There are lecturers whose promotions are overdue. Is that true? Is that true? In the name that is above all names this night, we command. Even offices that are not available, we create it for them this night. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. The king sent for Joseph. Tonight, I connect you with supernatural destiny helpers that will take you from where you are to the next level. I connect you. I call for the helpers of your destiny. Financial helpers. Marital helpers. Career helpers. Spiritual helpers. Receive their ministry in your life in the name of Jesus. I pray any project anyone is doing here whether you or your whether building project whatever it is for you and for your families you are building a three bedroom flat that has taken over 10 years this is a curse I pray right now in the name of Jesus let there be supernatural supplies the beds that brought food for the prophet I command may they locate your family Open up the heavens over your family. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One of the things God is doing in this season is preparing people for dimensions of prosperity that will scare people. Hallelujah. God is seriously looking for men who he will trust. These men will not just get well, they will be trained. The first thing you need is the staying grace. The school is not easy, let me tell you the truth. But happy are you when you pass through it because you will command wealth that will make you afraid. I pray for you. Every curse of poverty and lack there are some of you who are kingdom financiers the power of god will come upon you kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers kingdom financiers now i pray for everyone this cause of poverty that is upon many lives and families that has closed the heaven over many people in the name of the Lord Jesus this night by the sure mercies of the God of David I command your heavens to be open I command your financial heavens be open be open be open be open be open be open that bring prosperity favor and wisdom hallelujah money comes through favor it is preserved through wisdom the bible says through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established through knowledge the rooms are filled with every treasurable thing i pray 
let your hands receive wealth that only God can give. Inexplainable but undeniable. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let me tell you brothers, it is not by power. When it comes to prosperity, it is not by might. It's by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Two more things and we're up. I want to pray for favor. This is one of the things we enjoy in abundance. Hallelujah. I cannot tell you how the favor of God works. No man can explain it. But I know it works. I know it works. I am a testament. If you believe, I want you to believe. Many of you, you, you are used to suffering. You don't know what the favor of God can do. Some of our family members, what you need is the favor of God. Bible says in Isaiah 44 verse 3 said they got not into their land they got not the land by their possessions neither did their arms save them but because you had you showed favor towards them please believe one encounter of favor I tell you it can it can it can keep you in a position for a lifetime believe it there is something called divine favor what you see today is the evidence. We have never paid a dime for this venue. The last miracle service, I still don't know who paid for the venue. This is the favor of God. I want you to believe it. If you want to work for everything in your life, get set to die. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Favor. For many of you to come on you, this is what you need. I'm telling you, this is what you need. Families, what you need is favor, not stories. My God, my God, I pray in the name of Jesus, the favor that is upon Koinonia, I take it and I release it to your life. Take it now. 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 I activate favor. Favor. Favor with God, favor with man, favor, receive it, favor. Koinonia is called the place of intimacy and partnership with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You cannot come here tonight and not be on fire for God. You cannot be here tonight and not be on fire for the things of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to release grace that your spiritual life will stand strong and solid. Many of you, your prayer altars are dead. It's not because you don't love God. Hallelujah. Many of you, one leg in, one leg out. Last year you were on fire this year. Hallelujah. Many of our mothers, fathers, people at home, our prayer life, our word life, we're looking for things that only the word of God can give us. But Jesus said to Martha, I said, one thing is needful. One thing. One thing. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. Alongside with this, I want to pray for the distribution of the gifts of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Paul said, I long to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. A powerless Christianity, and I'm not talking of just falling out. Christianity with results. Christianity with proofs. We have too many talkatives in the body of Christ. Inside or outside. Some of you have been crying and said, Lord, can't my life not have proofs? Can the sick be healed through my hands too? Can I not bless people and it will work for them? Hallelujah. 
Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Hallelujah. I consider it to be an all important impartation. Please get ready because it will come upon you. Different kinds of gifts of the spirit. Stirrings of the spirit. At the count of three. I want you to shout Jesus. At the shout of that name. Some of you will. Will be set on fire literally. So that your spiritual life will be hot. So that God will use you and do wonders. Are you ready? Shout it with all your heart at the count of three. One. Two. Three. of grace that God has given me entrepreneurial ideas that will raise financial giants lift your hands everybody in the mighty name of Jesus take it take it take it take it Jesus. take it fruitful life. Amen. May your life be a fruitful life. Amen. May God bring results to your life. Amen. To be a consolation to your Christian work. Amen. Any life that has not been experiencing results that you have never testified, may this be your month. Any life that has not been experiencing results, may this be your month. I want to give you an opportunity inside and outside. If you've never given your heart to the Lord, please keep standing everybody. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You've never made a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hear me. Inside and outside, you are hearing my voice right now. You have seen the works of the Lord. It's time for you to get into a real relationship with God. Or for some of you, you have given your heart to the Lord. Hallelujah. But you found yourself derailing. Inside and outside, the Lord is speaking to you. Mother, father, whoever. I want you to leave your seat and come out here right now. I want to lead you and reconnect you back to the King of Kings. 
the lover of your life inside and outside right now leave your seats and come koinonia appreciate them as they come everybody thank you thank you they are coming god bless you don't be ashamed don't be afraid god bless you thank you thank you our mother is coming celebrate them koinonia outside don't let the devil stop you mother father whoever yes it's time to surrender surrender appreciate them it doesn't matter what your past is god can give you a new beginning don't allow the person you came with to stop you this is the greatest miracle another jesus keep clapping keep clapping they are still coming the holy ghost is convicting them inside and outside thank you jesus we will connect you to the maker of your life God bless you, brother. And I surrender. God bless you. Hallelujah. I want to celebrate you for your bold decision for Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People close their eyes when they are about to get born again as if what they are doing is wrong. This is the greatest miracle. Hallelujah. And I want you to know that we celebrate you. Some of you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time. Others have given your heart to the Lord, but you found yourself derailing. I want to pray for you. The Lord loves you and he wants to make meaning out of your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I'd like you to say after me and mean it from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I love you. And I thank you for dying for my sins this night I believe that Jesus is Savior and Lord and I accept him my name is in the book of life I declare that I'm saved the Holy Spirit is in me eternal life is mine from today I denounce sin and Satan and every past life and I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. My sins are washed away. It's a new beginning for me. Amen. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your spirit. You brought them to bless. You brought them to reconnect them to the maker of their lives. My God, I pray that their salvation will last. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do mighty things through their lives. I pray that many destinies will be blessed. The reason and the purpose for which they came to the earth, let it be discovered and maximized. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that every encumbrance, everything that keeps you in the path that is not of God, you are free for me today. There is grace for you. You will enjoy a victorious fellowship with the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We celebrate you. Please, I'd like you to follow the ushers. They'll have your details. And we'll send you a text and get across to you. Pastor Jakes is not around. But we'll send, we'll make arrangements. And I'll be there by God's grace to see you. God bless you. Please, tomorrow, together with them, all those who have not received the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of speaking in tongues, six on the dot, please be at the chapel. I will be there to minister to you. Hallelujah. Six on the dot, be at the chapel. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up. We're closing. Thank you for waiting this long. All those who are worshiping with us for the first time, inside and outside, we love you and we believe God brought you here to bless you. I'd like you to jump on your feet and rush out here quickly. Celebrate them, Koinonia. If this is your first time, please, inside and outside, you are special. We have a prayer for you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All those who invited them, I pray that every good thing will come into your life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. Keep clapping. They are still coming. 
Thank you. Thank you, Sas. Thank you, Ma. Thank you. Thank you. Keep clapping until they come. They are special to us. They are the evidence that God is at work in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.